adipose stem cell therapy a reality? So what does a fat person have to do with stem cell cartilage repair? Find out next. A review by Gimbal, Katz, and Bunnell took a fascinating look at adipose-derived stem cells, stem cells that come from fat. They emphasized the following. Ideally, a stem cell for regenerative medicinal applications should meet the following criteria. Number one, can be found in abundant quantities, millions to billions of cells. Number two, can be harvested by a minimally invasive procedure. Number three, can be differentiated along multiple cell lineage pathways in a regulatable and reproducible manner. Number four, can be safely and effectively transplanted to either an autologous or allogeneic host. Number five, can be manufactured in accordance with current good manufacturing practice guidelines. They then went on to discuss the large number of liposuction procedures done each year. Subcutaneous fat is a large depot of stem cells that are multi-potential. The authors envision a future where there would be fat drives such as there are currently blood drives. Interesting information, don't you think? Makes me want to chow down on a Big Mac. When you click on the button below, you'll get access to a page where you can sign up to receive a portfolio of information that will give you the inside scoop on how stem cells can help you if you have osteoarthritis, the science, the biology, and most importantly, the results. See you on the other side.